now, State Department about to release a long-awaited report on the Keystone Pipeline. Welcome to HQ. I'm Bill Hemmer. Great to see you, Bill. I'm Bill Allison Camerata. What will the State Department decide this afternoon? Let's get more from Jen Rubin. She's a blogger for The Washington Post and a former attorney. Jen, great to see you. So what do you think the State Department will have concluded in this long-awaited report? The buzz is that they're going to conclude, as they did the first time, that there's nothing environmentally imperfect about this, that they can go ahead. And that will toss the ball right back to the president, who will have 90 days then to decide whether to go forward. Uh, I should mention that we're looking at the exterior of the White House right now, but inside, Jay Carney is actually taking some questions. Uh, well, he's drinking water right now. He's refreshing himself, but he's talking about the Keystone Pipeline because so many people are asking about it. Obviously, this has been controversial. Environmentalists don't like this Keystone Pipeline. So how do we know uh, the science behind what the State Department has used and whether or not they think that it should go forward? Well, it's funny you should ask. You'd think that they would be happy if the government not just once but twice had confirmed that there's no environmental problem. Isn't that what they're concerned about, that the environment isn't harmed? But I think there's no amount of science, no amount of actual evidence that is going to satisfy some of these groups. Uh, and in fact, they've gone from being environmentalists to being anti-energy, anti-business, anti-economy people. And I think it's unfortunate that they've taken that tack. They should be celebrating if they've figured out a technology so that this is not carrying so-called dirty oil. Uh, and we should also be celebrating that in North America, we have resources here that we can exploit, that we can become energy independent without too much difficulty, and that we have environmental protection here as opposed to getting our energy from places that have lesser protections. But isn't that the problem, Jennifer, that these environmentalists do think that this is basically dirty oil? They don't think that this project necessarily is inherently dangerous, but they do think that what it brings into this country will increase carbon emissions. We should also say that TransCanada, the company behind this, has implemented 57 safety measures, they say, to try to mollify the environmentalists. But at the end of the day, the environmentalists don't want more oil from tar sands, as they say. So what's the yes. answer? Well, I think uh, we have to be reasonable about this. If we figured out a project that, in fact, um, has taken extraordinary, as you point out, 56, 57 steps to ensure that it is as environmentally uh, clean as we can get it, then I think as a society we need to be reasonable about this. There will be people out there who do not want us to use any kind of carbon-based uh, energy source. And I think that's just not realistic. It's not good for the country. It's not good for our national security. And at this point, it's really impossible. We can't get by on solar power and wind um, these days. Um, um, we're going to need to use these natural resources, and they should be encouraging uh, the sort of exacting review that the State Department has done, rather than complaining every time they get an answer back that they don't like. Okay, so if the State Department today concludes that it is safe to move ahead with the Keystone Pipeline, do you think we'll see action from President Obama? I think he's going to be very hard-pressed to do nothing. Um, it's interesting. He left it out of the State of the Union, as you recall, um, didn't mention it at all. And he's got a little bit of a problem. He does have these left-wing environmentalists who are part of the Democratic Party, some of them big donors, and so he wants to keep them happy. On the other hand, it's overwhelmingly popular in the country and is popular with big labor, which is another important constituency for the Democrats. I think on balance, he's going to have to go forward. I think after getting a couple clean bills of health from his own State Department, he is going to be under a lot of pressure to move ahead. Frankly, it would do him a world of good. It would be a bipartisan action. It would be good for the economy. And I think he should move forward, whether he will or not. It's often hard to probe what's going through their minds in the White House, but I think even for him, it's going to be hard to say no. We will see what happens this afternoon. Jen Rubin, thank you.